Doug Ford holding his first Q&A with journalists in over a month, and it turned into a rather testy exchange. Now, the premier blasted the media when he was asked about his government's faulty license plates. But keep in mind, it's the first opportunity reporters have had to ask him questions about them. As you guys, the media, want to stick in this little downtown Toronto bubble and start worrying about little things and disrespect, in my opinion, First Nations right today when we're supposed to be talking about a historic announcement that's going to change lives. What the Premier wanted to talk about with two chiefs at his side was his government's agreement to advance the planning and development of a proposed road to the Ring of Fire which he says will unlock jobs and prosperity for First Nations in Northern Ontario. I just leaned over and apologized to the two chiefs. This is about two First Nations community. It's not about license plates. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. The government has been on the defensive since first denying the license plates were difficult to read at night. It's an embarrassing flaw, especially considering the plates were redesigned with PC blue colours prompting the opposition to dub them vanity plates. The Premier was not amused when the questions persisted. You've got to be kidding. We sent a press release Friday just for these folks that can't believe what I deal with with this media here in Toronto. We give them a press release on Friday. We gave you the details. It's being corrected. We're going to have good license plates. But we're here to talk about an historic uh, investment that this province and this country hasn't seen. This is an opportunity for two First Nations communities and many others surrounding it to have an opportunity to road, to social services, to health care. It's going to change your lives. And when asked about rotating education strikes, the Premier acknowledged he's frustrated and turned his focus to blasting the unions. These teachers that have held this province hostage for 50 years, no matter if it's Liberal, NDP or PC, and people have had enough. You have to differentiate between the greedy teachers union and the hardworking teachers that want to get back to the classroom, teach our kids. Now, this is a side of the Premier we haven't seen since his polling plummeted amidst the patronage scandal. Since then, he's been showing a rather more conciliatory manner. Now, as for the teachers' unions, I can tell you OSSTF, the high school teachers' union, started exploratory talks last night with the government for the first time since mid-December. Just a few moments ago, a government spokesperson confirmed those exploratory talks are still ongoing as we speak. However, there's no, no sign at all that any kind of deal is forthcoming.